Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, I'm going to show you how I took some empty jars and bottles lying around my house and turned them into some coastal inspired decor using some Krylon sea glass spray paint and a little bit of rope. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Design for the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting and you enjoy videos on DIY and home decor, then I'd ask you to consider subscribing to my channel below and turning the notifications on because I bring you weekly tutorials on these topics and I'd hate for you to miss a thing. Now, I recently just returned from a trip to our home in Maine and it's kind of got me in this nautical vibe. I ran across this product recently and I'm like, I need to try it and it's Krylon Sea Glass in sea foam color. This is going to be a very simple and pretty inexpensive project to do because what I'm using is some jars that I already had around my house and I'm starting with like a pickle jar, a giant pickle jar, and I've had this forever and I've been storing my rice in it. I'm ready to, to upcycle it into something else. And this little jar right here, which has a cute little cork in it, held my Himalayan salt in it. I thought this would look really cute painted. And then this is just a vase that I picked up on a Walmart clearance aisle for $1. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray them all in this Krylon Sea Glass Sea Foam color. And then I'm going to embellish each one a little different. Before we get started, I want you to stick with me to the very end because I have a couple of really exciting announcements that I'm gonna tell you at the end of this episode. So stay tuned with me for that. So let's go out and start spraying our jars. I picked up this can of Krylon sea glass sea in sea foam color. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Let's try that again. Krylon sea glass sea foam. <laughs> She sold sea cells by the sea. I can never say that one. Just forget about it. Anyways, so I got it at Michael's. I used a coupon. It ended up being about six bucks. If you're not close to Michael's, I can provide a link to this product below. It will be a little bit more expensive, but it's such a fun product and I'm really excited to, to try it out. So what I really loved about this product is that it dries extremely quickly. You can recoat after one minute and it dries after 15, which is incredibly fast for a spray on project. We're going to kind of amp up the nautical. Now I've got a few different types of ropes that I've picked up to add as embellishment to our projects. We're going to just take this twine and kind of hot glue it and wrap it around um, the neck of this bottle. And then we've got some decisions to make about um, some embellishments. I ordered a package of nautical um, charms off of Amazon and I'll put the link below, but it came in like a package of 50 for $7.99 and it gives me a ton of options. And I felt like that was more affordable than going out and buying a necklace. But if you had something like on hand already that you could use, this would be a perfect opportunity. Pretty simple steps, just a dab of hot glue at the top followed by tightly wrapped twine around the neck of the bottle and another dab of glue. That looks pretty cute like that, but I'm not done. I decided on the compass for this jar and then I just thread some twine through the top and simply tied it onto the jar. This was so easy to make. Now on to our next project. This one, what I'm gonna do is create kind of like a faux fishnet effect by doing a little bit of macrame around the um, jar. You could just go out and purchase a fishnet. I found it kind of thin and maybe a little bit flimsy. So I'm going to go with the thicker twine because I want it to have a little bit more substance. I haven't ever done this before, to be honest with you, so we're kind of winging it. <laughs> So you're gonna learn with me, but I kind of have a plan and I'm hoping it works out. You're going to start out by loosely tying a piece of twine around the top of the jar you are using. Then you're going to need to measure the height of your jar so you can cut several pieces of twine that is at least five times the length of your jar. 
I only used four lengths and I ended up cutting it really close at the end. I wished I just gave myself a little more wiggle room. Then what you're gonna wanna do is fold it in half, threading it through the starter row and doing a cow hitch knot. You can determine how close and how many rows to do. The more rows, the tighter the knit. Try to evenly space them out. Now tighten and tie the top row so it's totally secure. Next, you're going to take one strand from each neighbor rope and tie them together and do this all the way around and alternating back and forth all the way to the bottom of the jar. I just eyeballed this but for all of you perfectionists out there pull out your ruler and measure it out each time for a perfectly spaced netting. Finally to make it snug on the jar, weave another piece of twine in and out of the bottom row and tie it off kind of like in a drawstring effect. Trim off any excess and that's it. We pulled it off. I couldn't leave the white jar lid just as it was. It was just not gonna do anything for the look and feel of the nautical jar that we have just created. So we are gonna just uh, glue on some twine, very similar to how I approached the DIY tire ottoman in my last episode. So I'll put the link right up in the corner there for you and as well as below. For one last final finishing touch, I want to embellish it with one of our little nautical charms. Our big jar is done and so is our little jar and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Now moving on to our last piece, which is our vase. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take this thicker rope here. It's the thickest rope that we've used. You can get um, this thickness at the Dollar Tree if you want. This actually ends up working out to be a better deal if you go to Michael's. I got it and used a coupon and it ends up being like 72 cents a foot, whereas the one from the Dollar Tree ends up being like 78 cents a foot. But if you only need a little bit, then go get the one from Dollar Tree. This is the technique that I was gonna show you on the rope ottoman that my hands got cut off on. This helps to prevent unraveling. We've made a loop and we're gonna put that right there. Wrap one, two, three, and four times. Kind of snug. And then you'll see you have this kind of little thing here we need to pull that through so it's a little bit tighter. And now there's no excess. And then you're gonna wrap one, two, three, four, and five. So you're a total of like between eight and 10 times. Pull this long piece through the loop. We're going to pull this piece over here. Well, hopefully, yep. And what we want to do is pull this underneath so it doesn't come undone. So we just pull on that a little bit more and that pulls it inside the rope and then cut off the excess on both sides. Okay, so now that we've got this end lashed, all we're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna just glue this all the way around so I'm gonna just put a little dab of hot glue on the edge of this. That will also add a little bit more security. Kind of the same technique that we've done all along. Just kind of wrap it around. It would be pretty easy on this one. Just hot glue, hold it down, spin it around. All right, so our vase is done. And we could have left it just with a rope, but I decided to add yet another one of our little embellishments because I had it and I thought it might be a little cute. Now we're gonna just add some flowers that I picked up on a crazy discount. I always check the at the end of the season for flowers because they're always like 80, 90% off. So I pick up some really good deals. This originally was $7, 80% off, 20 times, what is that? Somebody do math for me, $1.40. <laughs> you can just do a simple arrangement. The way you get a really designer look is a sense of fullness for one. And for two, you get some variation of textures and heights. Some things poking out a little further than others, some tucked in a little bit further than others. So my nautical sea glass jars are done. And I am so happy with how they turned out. I think that they are really cute. Uh, it was super inexpensive to do. If you'd like to see how I made this ottoman out of a tire, 
I'll put the link up above. Now to my very exciting announcements. I have two collaborations coming up and I am so excited about them. So of course, the first one is my Girls Can Use Power Tools Challenge, and that is always on the last Monday of every month. So this is just a little reminder about that. So give yourself a little time to, to gear up to use some power tools. My co-host this month will be Casey from Coffee With My Sunshine. She has an amazing uh, channel, so go check that out. I'll put the link below. And my next challenge is gonna be so much fun. I have teamed up with Kristen K of Kristen K over on her YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. I'll put the link below. But we have teamed up and we are creating the ultimate fall wreath playlist. So consider this an open invite to all you YouTubers to create your fall wreath. That could be Halloween, it could be Thanksgiving, it just fall leaves, whatever inspires you, create a wreath and do a tutorial on it and then link it up to our playlist. We are assembling a massive playlist. We want it to be a one-stop shop for all the inspiration you need for your fall wreath. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, don't worry. We have come up with a hashtag ultimate fall wreath and you can upload your pictures into Instagram of your wreaths and share them out there. So there is room for everybody at the table and we are gonna have so much inspiration. It's just gonna blow your mind. So that collaboration will go live Monday, August 19th at 2 p.m. It's gonna be a blast, so come upload your videos, share your pictures on Instagram. We hope everybody leaves feeling inspired. So I hope you enjoyed this episode today. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on all the fun that we're having over here on Design to the Nines. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next week with another DIY and decor tutorial.